Hi guys and welcome to Symbol Tech YouTube channel. This time with another mailbag video, so let's start opening all these parcels. Okay, so looks like this time I get something really big. I can see this one over there, this one over here. And as usual, we're gonna start with the small one. And the smallest one is this one. By the way, let me tell you that I am alone with my baby at home and if you heard any noise on the background that is my boy, little boy that is uh, playing around and maybe scream or something like that. And also, you might heard also lots of airplane because it's very hot here and I opened the window and not far from here is the airport. So let's start with this one. So this one I received on 22nd June and there is some description underneath over there again i don't know why we start doing like that that i cannot read what is there but let's open and let's see what's inside okay so inside we have two 10 turn pots and let's see which value are those ones so they are burns, as you can see there, and the value it says that are 50 kilo ohm. Oh, yes, so if are 50 kilo ohm and are two, I got them for the Visual Vacuum Tube Amplifier H8 Scott for the BIAS because they're on the schematic and show me that there is 50k and inside amplifier is 250k. So, yeah. This one are for that amplifier, so stay tuned because uh, once I get all the parts, I'm gonna start uh, continuing the part two for that uh, amplifier. So now let's see from where I buy, how much I pay on, and how fast they move over here. So the 50k ports I ordered on 9 June from AliExpress, and I received it on 22nd June, so this means 13 days delivery, and I pay a total of two pounds 84 pence. So let's see what we can say more about this order. So in this order, you can choose between 10k, 100k, 2k, 5k, 20k. 50k, 200 ohms, 100 ohms, 500 ohms, 1 kilo ohm. So I ordered two pieces, tw uh, 50k for that amplifier, and just one piece costing uh, 0 0.89. Let's see what more we can say about here. Here again, the what you can buy, so the values that they have. Here a bit of data sheet of the dimensions, and uh, more than that, just 10 turns potentiometers. And if you are interested, you're gonna find the link on the description below. Okay, so let's come with the next one in, which is a bit uh, not light. Also here, description is on the need of the parcel down there, but really hard to understand what is inside. So let's do a cut over here and open. This one nothing here, really well packed with this uh, foam around. And if we get a proper cut where we should do a cut, we're gonna be able to open. Here we go. Looks like it's a kit. I can see PCB boards over there. Okay, so let's have a look which kind of kit is. So again, a little cut to open. I can see where is the tape. Uh, okay, that looks like I get it. Okay, so that's the kit. And looks like it's... Uh, Something is already pre-soldered. Mm, I'm not that much happy. Why? There is already pre-soldered there. Here I can see also some joints of solder. So, better. Let's open and see what's inside and to understand what is, right? Let's give a small cut over there. And let's see what is this. So, there is some joints of solder over there, you can see. I don't know why they are those ones because it's nothing over there. Looks like some passing through. I really don't know what is there. Says FET, FET1, FET2. 
if they come already with the fats already pre-soldered, who knows? Oh, and then we have a resistor over there already soldered. Well, hopefully it will gonna work when we're gonna do this uh, these boards here the same. I have the fed there, and I can see there is a NE5532 over there, and should be I believe uh, an audio amplifier. There is no schematic, there is no nothing. There's a bunch of power transistor over there, lots of resistor capacitors. So yeah, I believe it's an audio amplifier. Yeah, by GLM and it say L9 amp so it's L9 amplifier and yeah stay tuned please subscribe activate notification bell because when I'm gonna have a little time I'm gonna start soldering all the components on these boards and uh, we're gonna give a try to see how sound and if it's worth that I buy it or no so let's see now from where I buy how much I pay on and how fast moved over here Okay, the amplifier kit I ordered it on June 12th and I received it on 22nd June so this means just 10 days delivery which is really cool. For a pair I pay a total of 20 pounds and 16 pence and let's see the listing now. So the listing you can buy already build up or DIY kit and it's golden true hot aqua phase E405 mod front and rear stage combined power amplifier DIY or finished board and uh, the kit come complete as a stereo two boards and you can choose between DIY kit or ready to install in the chassis and more about it what we can say so twin fed input tubes are used adopt imported original Texas instrument NE5532 as a preamplifier this is servo this server circuit output power tubes can be matched with original KEC KTB817 or KTD1047 pair of tubes parameters voltage supply so can work between plus minus 25 up to plus minus 55 volts output power in 8 ohm they say that is maximum 150 watts so this one we're gonna see when we're gonna build it and test it so stay tuned for that voltage gain 90 mm. frequency response they say that that is working good between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz minus 0 0.05 and 20 hertz and minus 15 db in 20 kilohertz the thd noise it's uh, 0 0.02 in 50 watts 8 ohm which is really cool and here's some picture here's some picture of uh, frequency response the noise thd and yeah looks like it's a promising amplifier so stay tuned because definitely i'm gonna do a video when i'm gonna build it and test it and if you are interested you're gonna find the link on the description below here we go let's come with the next one in next one uh, any description there any lies there is no nothing so open and let's see what is okay empty here is wrap in bubble wrap which is nice good protected and there is two bags of bubble wrap one and there is another one over here and it looks like it's a power supply and if it's the one that i remember i order is the one for my son he actually is for this uh, car because it has uh, this electric car that has a normal uh, only 1.5 amp hour battery and I want to install in a uh, lithium battery which is 18 amps hour and for the lithium battery I need 16.8 volt to charge it so I got this uh, charger 16.8 volts with 2 amps so it will gonna be the charger for the new battery for my son electric car so let's see now how much I pay on from where I buy and how fast moves over here the lithium battery charger I ordered it on 11 June and I received it on 22nd June so this means 11 days of shipping which is cool as well I pay a total of £4.49 pence, and let's see the listing now so here we go 16.8 volts 2 amps lion battery charger for 14.4 volts 18 650 lithium battery 5.5 millimeter 2.1 millimeter dc power jack socket female panel mount connector yeah you can choose i just get the simple one which is this one you can choose also with the connector the female connector 
because the mail is attached to the power supply you can use between us or eu version and then if you go down we're gonna find more about it so input ac 100 to 200 force 50 or 60 hertz 0 0.8 amps output 60.8 volts to amps charging voltage dc 16.8 charging current 2 amps charging mode cc or cv charge indicator red light charging green light fully charged oh so it's telling you straight away this one when it's fully charged or it's charging dimension and protective function input over current protection hmm. the output current protection also source circuit protection hmm. do you think that has all this stuff no. let's see when i'm gonna install the battery and i'm gonna test it and if you are interested we're gonna find the link on the description below okay so let's get the next one in which is a small box and here say Underneath I can see some description but doesn't I cannot read it because say one one thousand two hundred grams but I don't believe this is one kg at all. Anyway, only lies all the time. Let's open and see what's inside of this box because I'm really curious to see which goodies I receive. Yeah. I really love this doing this uh mailbag videos guys because I thought I can show you which projects you might see on my YouTube channel and if we open this box nice packed so yeah I really appreciate the seller looks like Sam looks like Sam there is a PC board I can see another kit there's another kit over here so we have lots of components and lots of heat sinks what they can be what they can be Ma, let's see the PCB. This is the PCB board, which is same, no schematic, you do not follow. Thanks God that uh, it's mentioned there on the PCB, the components. I'll not remove this plastic for now because uh, I'm gonna remove it when I'm gonna start doing this kit. So stay tuned, please subscribe, activate notification bell because also this one it's gonna be a nice video. We're gonna understand what it is. So here is a GLH1969. Oh, so it's also this one is a class A amplifier. And yeah, stay tuned, please, guy, because also this kit is gonna be soon available on my YouTube channel. A video nice about it. So let's put it back and uh, let's see from where I buy how much I pay on and how fast moves over here. So GLH Hood 1696 single ended class A headphone amplifier board kit. I ordered it on 12 June. I received 20 seconds, so 10 days delivery. I pay a total of 11 pounds 57. So let's see the listing now. So they are still selling same price 11.51 and you get all these, the PCB board, all the parts. You might change some capacitor to use some high quality capacitor. And for the price that you pay for, it's more than enough. And let's see what we can say about it so product details this project can be used as a headphone amplifier or pre-amplifier based on the classic GLS single-ended class A power amplifier circuit the gain is 10 times by default can provide the circuit diagram ah if you want the circuit they can they can send you the schematic mm. specification working voltage 12 0 12 AC single-ended class A frequency characteristics oh 12 hertz to 50 kilohertz 0 dB minus 1 dB oh 12 hertz 120 kilohertz Hertz, 0 dB minus 3 dB. Oh, looks like it's really good one. Voltage gain 21 dB. Signal to noise ratio is 101 dB. Conversion rate is 35 volts microsecond. Quiescent current 240 milliamps. The size of the board and here some pictures of this uh, product. And if you are interested, you are going to find the link in the description below. And stay tuned because I'm going to have a nice video on building this one and test it. And the last one is quite big, so I need to zoom out a bit the camera and uh, to make space. Emptying the table to see this one because it's quite big. And I'm really curious to see what's inside. Here we can read some description. And description is telling me just signal. I don't know if I receive some signal, so if this one is signal, I don't know. And the value say that is 71.28 US dollars. Okay. 
let's see what can be on that value quite expensive right so let's see which good is this one I really like it's well packed lots of bubble wrap around and we need to find where I can give some cuts in order to open okay so here we go we are getting there we are getting there oh, very hard to cut this one maybe now if i do a cut over there i can get rid of this bubble wrap And we can have just the box. The box doesn't have any design on it, nothing. It's just a plain box. And let's see from where we can open this one. From the other side? Yeah, from the other side. Let's open and see what's inside. Oh, nice. Quality certificate. Oh, that's good. So I have a quality certificate. Hmm, product codes, date manufacturing, first 2023. So it's something new. And it say here, East Tester, two channel function arbitrary waveform generator. Oh, I really wanted for a long time to have one with a nice display like this one here. It shows you a bit how operate and what is say the display. Yeah, I'm really happy. And also a certificate that is working really good. Let's see what we have inside of this box. So this uh, signal generator, comes with the USB because you can connect it to the computer comes with the two pairs because it's two channel two pairs of this one and one of uh, connector BNC and BNC which is really good so come with those connector then comes with the European cable which is same i have a lot of cables uh, uk with this uh, connector over here so this one we can put them aside and comes actually the item itself so let's get the box out from here and let's look a bit to this item so by the construction uh, quality or oh, plastic by the way all plastic have this handle that I believe some way you can move it around and put it up if you want put it more up if you want like that yeah so let's power and see let's find a cable actually and let's power to see how this work okay so I bring the power and uh, let's turn on so it's turn on with this green uh, screen and in Chinese and with the frequency that you can uh, you can select here the frequency that you want then you go to select the amplitude that you want I can see there is relay in, inside when you overcross 5 volts and when you come to 5 volts so should be something that changed the voltage over there then there is offset there is duty cycle and there is the phase you can think you can change the phase uh, turn it upside down then if you press ok you turn on and if you want just only one channel you stop one channel and you turn and you turn on the, the channels that you want from here channel 1 channel Two, and this one is external in so this one receives also signal I think and is reading which signal it is and then uh, if we go to check which uh, kind of uh, form there is so you press the wave the waveform or means what's mean ah frequency meter I think here is when it's reading function frequency meter counter ah it's doing also counter so and then as you can do the coupling dc or see external in so this one is for the in 
and uh, it's measuring the frequency meter yeah so if I go to waves we can change between sine wave square ramp pulse noise C CMOS neg ramp at alt uh, amp alt stays up half sign stairs up yeah there is lots of things that this one can do and also for the price I pay on uh, I think it's a really good deal only that the, uh, the manufacturer is only 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 plastic that one I stay tuned guys please subscribe active notification bell because I'm gonna do a video on reviewing this one so I buy by myself so I'm gonna do an honest review on this and I'm gonna show all the functions and I'm gonna Put it connected to the oscilloscope to see how how noisy it is and the frequency and the signal is pure or very noisy so yeah we're gonna see on the video when i'm gonna do a review on this one so let's see now how much i pay on from where i buy and how fast moved over here so the function generated i ordered it on 12 june and i received it on 22nd june so this means 10 days also for this one delivery i ordered the 20 megahertz version and i pay a total of 58 pounds and 90 pence so let's have a look now the listing so here we go 60 megahertz 40 megahertz 20 megahertz two channels dds function signal generator arbitrary wave pulse signal source 100 m frequency counter 200 ms a dash s diy well it's not diy it's coming straight away in the box so i don't know and you can choose between the 20 megahertz 40 megahertz or 60 megahertz the price changing definitely and uh, here few things about this one is say the et 33 c series to channel function arbitrary wave generation hearing fair referred as at 33c series adopt direct digital frequency synthesis technology which can output signals with high accuracy stability and low distortion we will gonna see when i'm gonna do the review on this uh, product if it's really true what's say over there then uh, 2.4 inch 320 by 240 tft lcd with clear graphics interface chinese and english menu available both channels are independent of each other and have phase synchronization function sampling rate 200 uh, millis second a dash s vertical resolution 13 bits and storage deep ak five basic waveforms and 32 arbitrary waveforms in built win mm. waveform storage support internal storage of 50 groups of user defined edited waveforms pulse wave output setting h time internal im fm pm modulation function oh that's good external im fm pm modulation is optional internal external isk fsk psk modulation function dual channel auto maximum auto frequency 60 megahertz or linear logarithmic sweep and brass pulse train waveform with 100 megahertz high precision frequency meter and 32 bit counter oh standard usb device interface optional external analog modulation interface multifunctional arbitrary waveform editing software okay but i don't receive any usb or any cd how i'm gonna get this swifter i need to look and find it here is telling you what you're gonna find in the package you see it already on the video and yes yeah, stay tuned because we're gonna do a nice video on uh, reviewing this one and let you know guys if it's worth to buy or no and if you are interested also you're gonna find the link on the description below and this was the content of this mailbag video guys so i have one amplifier kit here it should gonna be soon on my youtube channel when i'm gonna build it and test it another one over here same another video another project and it will gonna be also this one tested charger for my uh, son electric car to change the battery the ports are for the H Scott visual amplifier and this signal generator that will gonna help me a lot to test these amplifiers and to let you guys know if it's worth to buy them or not. If you enjoy this kind of uh, content, please subscribe and activate the notification bell like that you will not miss any other my video. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a like. And until the next video guys, bye bye and have a good day.